My name is Duddy, so I'll build some stuff. Today, I've got a Void Titan build for you with the Manticore. We are going to be able to stay airborne indefinitely. Gonna cause volatile explosions whilst we're in the air. We are also gonna be featuring the second chance exotics. So we get two shield throws that weaken, cause volatile explosions via controlled demolition. And these actually work against anti-barriers. So it's a bit more of a end game build. So stay with me, I'm going to break it all down if you want to be airborne and cause volatile explosions everywhere. So the Manticore is exotic uh, void SMG, 900 rounds per minute, soaring fang, dealing damage while grounded, charges anti-grav repulsors, dealing damage while airborne, extends the anti-grav repulsors. It's also got swooping talons on there, dealing damage while airborne, increases the weapon's damage output. So the longer you stay in the air, the more damage you do, it's just going to, the damage is just going to keep ramping up. The most impressive thing for me with this exotic rework, the, the rework, the catalyst, is the, is the actual catalyst itself. It's very impressive. While you are airborne, sustain damage and final blows with this weapon to difficult combatants, grant you a void overshield. So you're quite tanky, gives you a nice fit void overshield, but it also reduces the combatant accuracy and it retains ammo to the magazine. Now, this next clip I'll show you is the accuracy part of it. So when you're in the air and you've got that uh, void overshield, these enemies, the cat shoot you, they sort of shoot in one direction. So I found this really impressive. And all you gotta do is just move a little bit and their cat hit you. So it's really strong. Plus you've got that void overshield working nicely. So what we could do to add to the Manticore is obviously we wanna be taking advantage of it in the air. But if you run control demolition, wherever you hit something with avoid ability, it's going to cause enemies to become volatile like so. So you stick a grenade down or a shield for her. And while you're in the air, you can actually do this because the anti-grav repulsors from the Manticore enable you to stay in the air for a very long period of time now. So it's super, super nice. And again, you can just cause these volatile explosions while you're in the air. It's pretty easy to do. Grenade, shield throw, something like that. So you can hover around these enemies and just cause absolute carnage. Purple volatile rounds popping off everywhere. Whilst you're in the air, I find it really, really cool. So again, I'll just sort of this next clip here. I'm just going to show you the working in a bit of a harder content. This is only an 1830, but I've got 1840 clips as well, uh, just after this one. So you can see while I'm in the air, nothing can really hurt you. And again, you've got that uh, shield throw to cause volatile explosions. You've also got a grenade as well. So you've got plenty of ways to cause that volatile explosions. So this is brings me on to the exotic armor, second chance. It gives you a second shield throw charge. Your shield throw now becomes a weakening, so you can actually put a 15% debuff on there. And this actually works against anti-barrier champions. When you stun an anti-barrier with your shield, it instantly gives you it back. So whilst you're in the air causing volatile explosions via controlled demolition, you can actually break anti-barrier shields and weaken as well. So you can sort of hover like so, just to stay nice and safe with the catalyst and you're gonna get infinite shield throws as long as you break that barrier shield and you're weakening and causing volatile explosion all while you're in the air. And I found it super, super cool. Very, very nice sort of little loop. Just hovering around like a stylish eagle and you can just do absolutely crazy stuff with it. And of course, with the second chance, because we've got two shield throws, that is excellent for controlled demolition. So you're pretty much gonna have two shield throws most of the time, or at least one, push your grenade and weakening effects from the second chance. Just purple explosions everywhere, left, right and center is super, super cool. Now, uh, another thing that works really nicely with the second chance is trench barrel shotguns. Because trench barrel actually got changed, I covered it again in one of the previous video. Trench barrel now actually works with ranged melee attacks. Use unraveling orbs, picking up an orb of power, grant strand weapons unraveling rounds. You can also get unraveling rounds with your shotguns this season, so you can go absolutely crazy with a strand shotgun as well, uh, which I find super cool. Like I said, I did a video on this the other day, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on the unraveling rounds, but unraveling rounds on a shotgun, if you do need to get on the ground and clear enemies, it's just a nice solid option to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do in the next clip as well is show you something about trench barrel that got changed. Like I said, it does work with ranged melee attacks. Now, as you can imagine, something with like second chance what gives you two melee attacks you're also going to be able to proc trench barrel indefinitely 
uh, with your shield for her. So watch this shield for her. Got the weakening effect on there as well, don't forget. So you've got a trench barrel plus the weakening effect. And with the second chance, you've got pretty much infinite shield for us against anti barriers. Playing that weakening effect and volatile, so it's a really good option to run. Nice shotgun just to uh, add to the sort of build if you need to get on the floor and do some damage on the ground. Unraveling rounds, trench barrel, really, really nice. Now, I'm just going to, next sort of ending of the video, I'm going to talk about my aspects, fragments and mods. So if you want to get a dim link, you can skip this bit. Controlled demolition. Uh, this is what we've touched on this in the video uh, already. Offensive bulwark. Now you can run this one if you want, because the overshield from the Manticore actually works with offensive bulwark. But I've actually found what using Bastion on this build was a little bit better, especially for end game builds. For the end game type of aspect, getting more rover shields always helps, but you can run Bastion or Offensive Bulwark. I really like Suppression Grenade, but you can actually run Vortex Grenade if you wanted to. I prefer Suppressor Grenade because it is good against Overloads. Shield Fur, that's what you actually need for the second chance exotics to work. So you must have Shield Fur Echo of Undermining to add to the second chance. Weakening effects, your grenades also weaken. Echo of Harvest, defeating weakened targets creates an orb of power and void breach because we're always weakening things echo of starvation to get that devour going so you can also be super tanky in the air and then echo of persistence void debuff supply to you have increased duration class item i like to run a reaper mod shortly after using your class ability your next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power and then time dilation to make my armor charges have a longer duration all these work really nicely with the devourer as well because you create plenty of orbs so on my legs, I like to run a double void weapon surge for the Manticore just to buff it out an extra 17% damage plus all weakening effects you've already seen. I also like to run an innovation which reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. Your chest piece, you can just run whatever you want. That's your pick. Uh, double void resistance, something like that. But on my arms, I like to run double font of Vigor. This gives you 70 strength for two of these whenever you have an armor charge. So you can always keep that shield for a nice and active. So I've got 30 strength, but that's actually 100. I also like to run impact induction. Causing damage with a powered melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. On the helmet, I like to run harmonic siphon. Void weapon kills uh, give you an orb of power. And then I also like to run solar and strand weapons. Heavy or in my primary. So this one is good as well for creating plenty of orbs. And then because I run a shotgun, obviously I like to run a special ammo finder. But that's the build, I will leave a dim link, let me know what you think. Just being in the air, uh, pretty safe, being able to do anti-barrier capabilities and overload with the suppression. Really, really cool. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll catch you next time.